Hey YouTube, this is Luke back again with another video. Today I'm going to show you how to transfer your files from WAMP server over to your GoDaddy hosting account. Alright, let's get into it. First thing you're going to want to do is click on WAMP server, PHP my admin, and then click on the database you choose to copy. Scroll all the way down to the bottom, click check all, then scroll all the way back up and click export. And then quick is what you're going to want and SQL. Click go. Save file. And then once you save the file, send it to the desktop. And then once you do that, you're going to want to get out of WAMP server and you're going to want to go to GoDaddy. Of course, you're going to want to log into your account, scroll down, click launch on your hosting, and that will bring you to your hosting page. And then this is for PHP BB already installed. If you don't know how to install it, check out my other video that shows you how to install it, but I'm assuming you have it installed. So you, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to databases, MySQL, and click on the database that you have installed already. And you're going to want to click PHP My Admin. Copy my database name here. Oh, I'm already in it. Okay. And you are going to click on the database and you are going to scroll down again and you're going to check all over here on the right with selected drop I'm not going to drop it because I already got my website up and running but once you drop them scroll all the way back up go to import Browse for your file on the desktop. I leave it all the same. I don't mess with nothing. Then you click go. And then that should install your new database from WAMP server. And then the next thing you got to do is you have to configure it. So you're going to want to get out of here and click on databases, MySQL. Click on the database. Remember, you're going to have to cut and paste your database name and on the bottom here your host name because you're going to need to replace localhost with this and I'll show you go to FTP file manager scroll down click on config.php and go up here to edit then as you can see the db host that was the very bottom one that I showed you and you're going to have to put it in between the parentheses that's mine.com okay don't worry about the port then the db name is the database name that I showed you that you had to uh, highlight and the user and your username and then the DB password so that's one two three four things you're gonna have to do in the config file and then once you do that you click save and then go back to home And you should get a preview of your forum. If not, it'll say an error, but you can click on view website and it should show your website. Simple. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave a comment below and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. Stay tuned for my next video.